guys hello everyone welcome back to my channel welcome back to yet another video thank you so much for tuning in very much welcome for those who are new thank you so much for tuning in to pile papras entertainment kindly subscribe like the video share it as well <clears throat> and yeah man um let's uh, let's try to grow this channel we are growing slowly but surely but yeah thank you so much you guys for everyone uh who watches uh like and subscribes and everything else you guys thank you thank you so much you really really are uh, appreciated now you guys on that chidima uh, at the china story i think um i tried not to really uh <clears throat> follow it up too much you guys because yeah i've realized in bono yes when it comes to this Case ya kachidima at the China and then I reported on what I reported and that was it. So now on this particular one I'm gonna report on it because yeah there is a story already because more because they're talking about how um they've been investigating and like they said on my Facebook they are investigating. So it looks like they have found um the mother uh, who um the real owner of that identity number. Okay, it looks like uh, they've investigated and they finally found her. And Umamakashi Dima, it is said she's being investigated by the hog, something like that. But yeah, the other one, the other ID owner, uh, is being allegedly found. So now I want to go through that, you guys, so that I, I read what is written. I do not lie on uh, about this story because wow, this is very, very... <laughs> You know, but anyways, you guys, the portfolio committee uh, on home affairs reported uh, to parliament today with the department is three officials who were allegedly involved to get, uh, on that fraudulent registration of former Miss South Africa contested Uchidima at the China's bed and their Johannesburg office in the Ganjali, you guys, um, they were found um, uh, um, officers who did lend my um, IDs and all that, you guys. I think I had one of them, it was discovered he is no more, but the two of them, uh, they are on them, okay? The committee also revealed that uh, one of the officials have since passed, like I said, away, and the, the remaining two are being investigated. This is what I get. Now, uh, the victim is identified in the report. The department said that their records show that the woman whose identity might have been stolen by Atechina's mother was registered by her mother in Tuan in 1982. Okay. She was then entered into the National Population Register. According to the report, the woman applied for an ID in 1995. And three um, months after uh, uh, the application, she returned to, uh, to home affairs to collect the ID, only to be told that her ID was issued in Johannesburg at an office where she had not applied for it. Right? Now, the woman is said to have given birth in 2001. And when she went to register her child at home affairs, she discovered that there was a child registered under her ID number. <laughs> that child was then Uchidima, you guys, Chidima, uh, uh, Vanessa Unwe Adichina. She then spent months before she uh, could be given a new identity number. Home Affairs had visited the address listed for Miss Adichina's mother and that one of the lady whose ID was stolen. The information shared by the family of the lady whose ID was stolen in twenty matches the details contained. Now, Gutuagi Amahawks are investigating the matter. In the process of the investigation, Atashina's mother was issued with a promotion of Administrative Justice Act letter, uh, letter on 7 August 2024. And the department said her response to the letter will determine the final decision that they will take in relation to the ID she is currently carrying. The Deputy Director General for uh, Counter Corruption and Security of Edwoma Affairs, White Advocate Constance Muiz, uh, told the Parliament that. The ongoing investigation is also looking at other areas that are important uh, for the fair and accurate conclusion of the case. Now, the department's investigation is at an advanced stage. This investigation are now includes the involvement of the Directorate for, uh, for Priority Crime Investigation, Amahogs, and then she added that the department is also seeking legal advice on the implications of the alleged fraudulent activity on Atechina citizenship status. Our drive towards our digitization will help eliminate instances of fraudulent interference. I want to get double upon about uh, Uchidima at the China and uh, uh, that fraudulent uh, ID of her mother. That uh, wow, so it's Hongata, you guys. But again, uh, this is the story. I don't know want to add on that because I know that this story is quite have a lot of people like you know, in Bono, yes, Lukana, this is what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, I mean, it's just. So, 
I do not know. It's something else when it comes to me. That's why I do not want to add my opinion. You can add your opinion on the comment section when it comes to Atichina, Kutuake, the victims were found. And yeah. So I don't know what is going to happen to Uchidima and her mother. Yo, I get, for now, I really wish if she didn't really enter that Miss SA. Maybe she didn't know all this stuff about the ID. Because if she knew, girl, you were just not supposed to enter. Knowing very well, would hey, Uma, I think she didn't know any of this. So now it cost her mother now to uh, uh, investigate her and, you know, something like that, you guys. So now you continue blaming yourself. Oh, no. Why did I even enter? Because, okay, like, I'm going my color and just pull out, you know. But she, she continued and continued. But I realized that it wasn't easy for her for to oh, good, I'm gonna pull her out. And it's cut her city. Pull out, girl, pull out. I think it wasn't easy. She continued the comp competition, continued, continued. And that video where she was celebrating with her Nigerian family, it just made the matters worse. And, you know, I said, I'm afraid. I said, I'm going to comment on what I'm going to about the ID part. Um, that, that's not my place to even comment. But all I'm saying, maybe... If there's a problem there with the, the with the her ID and the her surname, the Atechina, Unwe, whatever, she was supposed to just leave. But at the same time, we it maybe it wasn't easy for her to leave since wife Elisa got to believe in, you know what I mean? So it's a lot. So now it cost now her mother go to my house and abortion. And the mark myself, she will, she's the one now to feel guilty. With, oh no, I did all this and my, now my mom is in trouble. I mean, I didn't know. Maybe she didn't know very Oh, I didn't know, mama. Now we are in trouble. We are getting arrested because of me. So this is just a whole lot of things. So for me, I'm like, wow. I have no words. I don't know what to say. But anyways, yeah, I mean, thank you so much, you guys, for watching this video. Like and subscribe, share. Then soon as you follow the comment section. Then we meet again on my next upload. Bye.